Welcome to today's video. Today I'll be talking about two important tools that we use in academic writing. These two tools are used to edit the papers. In academic writing, you must be able to deliver 100% original work and it should be free from grammar mistakes. So we use Grammarly to check for any grammar mistakes and edit and we use Tanitin to check for plagiarism or copy-paste work. Remember, I always say in my tutorials that copy-pasted work or plagiarism is a big enemy in academic writing. So these tools just help you ensure that you're able to deliver quality work and you're able to deliver 100% original work. These two tools are not free, they are damn expensive, but if you're here in Kenya, there's a way you can be able to get these two at a very cheaper price. So, make sure you watch to the end because I'm going to give you the tips on how you can be able to get these two tools at a cheaper price at the end of the video. In the meantime, Let's go and see how to use Tanitin. And then you're going to Grammarly. Once you Google Tanitin, it's going to bring you to this page. And this is where you log in to the account. Or you can be able to create one original account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. That's my email address right there. So you log in. Now, the thing about this website, this is the slowest site I have ever seen but we move so when you log in into this site you must be able to see a class here and for me this one is named december so i'm just going to click you click on the class it's going to direct you to this place and this is where you're going to submit the papers for instance as you can see here i have already submitted one paper today so i'm going to just submit another one this is how you do it you come here and click on submit and then you're going to write the title of the paper for example i can say poem this is a paper i did on poem so let's go with poem choose from the paper so i'm going to go direct and upload from my computer so let's upload and the website is user friendly such that you just go on you click on continue and it's going to get you to where you want so i said this is the most truest site so let's be patient a bit and see how it's going to turn out so after that's going to direct you here and this is where you confirm and then return to the assignments list it is right here and as you can see I have a plage of 2% so let me open so that we can see where the plagiarism is and basically they say it should not be above 15% but to be on the safer side, always make sure your paper has 0% plagiarism. So let's open and see. This is the paper right here. And as you can see, this part has plagiarism, but do not ever touch this part. So the best way is to remove this part before you submit. But I just prefer going with it because I know this part does not affect. However, if the body part, like for example, right here has plagiarism, you should definitely edit that part. And this is where it's going to show you where the mistakes comes from. But ignore that part because that part does not affect the cover page and the sources do not count in plagiarism. So if your paper has plagiarism on the cover page and the references or the sources, you just ignore that. Let me submit another paper so you can see how it goes when you have plagiarism. I just copy pasted this one direct from google saved it and i want to show you if you copy paste how you're going to know your work has plagiarism or has plagiarism so bear with me guys this is the snowest site ever that you're going to come across As you can see guys, it says 100% pledge, 100% similarity. So let's open and see. So this is it guys, as you can see, it says 100% match overview. 
that is 100% plagiarism. So if the paper has plagiarism, it's going to show on your right hand side and it's going to show even where you got the website that you copy pasted. So never deliver such a paper. In such a case, you just take your paper, go back, edit, bring it here until it gives you 0%. Yeah. So that is it and it's super easy. Let's go and see how Grammarly works. This is Grammarly right here and once you Google, it's going to direct you to this page. I already have an account so I'm already signed in. On this page, you can either upload or copy paste. I prefer copy pasting but you can also upload. So the option for upload is so easy, you just click here, upload. Go to your documents and get the paper that you want to edit it's right here i said it's super easy and as you can see it's already given me suggestions always remember grammar is not 100 percent so you must proofread your paper when i started I, I used to ignore proofreading and i would get so many revisions but since i got the secret of always proofreading my papers the revision stopped so that it's so easy just come here and click but make sure you always read for example price is the most important aspect i can change important with crucial critical essential whichever the only reason i'm at the biggest thing is to ensure you proofread and make sure it makes sense important it says essential that makes sense license the product or approve the product makes sense so it's so easy and as you can see here it's suggesting me ng to change to and but if you know what this is is this is 100 percent correct so i'm just going to ignore that perfect or i did make sense you can also it can also give you um an option to rewrite a whole sentence that's okay so just to make sure you proofread and make sure the paper is 100 overall score so just correct and also make sure you proofread to make sure it makes sense i will repeat again and again grammar is not always 100 percent however it's 95 percent correct so it is important should be able to follow it because it's user friendly as you just click it has nothing or it's just so easy you just click on it and move just like that and just like that i am done so that's how you use both grammarly and tanitin and it's super easy both of these two sites are user friendly user friendly i mean one step leads you to the other and it's so easy to navigate in both of the two now what are the prices the prices of these two normally is super expensive especially if you're a beginner because you do not want to spend so much and you've not yet started making money so if you're here in kenya I will repeat again and again, you should join Facebook groups. Those are communities where writers communicate, where writers engage. That's why you'll also be able to access the logins to both of these sites because you're just going to buy logins. For Grammarly, it goes between 150 to 200 bob and for Tanitin, goes between 400 to 500 bob and that's a month and that's super affordable and it's going to save you so much so if you're starting writing right now you should have these two tools and you should be able to use them yeah and that's all it's just simple just go on facebook search for writers groups even if you're not on facebook because i know some of you doesn't use facebook you will need Facebook at this point to just stay connected to the people whom you're in the same industry. You can go there once in a while. I also tell you guys, there are so many people on Facebook groups searching for writers. If you do not have a job, go there, search for people who are looking for writers. Everything is on Facebook groups. 
Rachel's Facebook groups are so many and also on the same groups that you're going to also join WhatsApp groups because you're going to find links. I also find people telling me to, to connect them with the groups that I have. I do not have a group, but I am in so many and I got them from Facebook. So you should stay connected. Go there and stay connected. Network. In all industries, networking is important. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. That is it for this video. Do not forget to subscribe on this channel and also give this video a big thumbs up country if you're there give this video a big thumbs up and also guys share 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 with your friends share with the family who are winning ama who just starting out on writing yeah that is it for today see you on my next video and also if you have a question just drop it down on the comment section